Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a butterfly. Start by drawing an oval as a guide for the top part of the body, also called the thorax. To draw the oval, first make two small marks to indicate the oval's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the oval's width. Make sure that the marks for the oval's length are farther apart than the marks for the oval's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the oval. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Far down below the thorax, make a small mark for the first part of the lower section of the body. This section of the body is called the abdomen. Now connect the small mark to the thorax using long lines to finish the guide for the abdomen. Far to the left of the thorax, make a small mark to determine the width of the first forewing. On the far right side, make another small mark for the width of the other forewing. These two marks should be roughly the same distance from the thorax. Now draw a long curved line from the thorax to the first mark for the top part of the forewing. On the right side, connect the thorax to the second small mark using another long curved line. Make sure that the lengths of the two lines for the forewings are roughly the same. The longer you make these lines, the bigger the wings will be. Under the middle section of the line on the left, make a small mark for the bottom edge of the first forewing. On the right side, make another small mark to indicate the bottom edge of the other forewing too. These marks should be almost as low as the bottom edge of the abdomen. Now draw a long angled line on either side to complete the guides for the forewings. Each of these lines should be similar to a big letter V. Draw the two sides so that they're similar to each other, but it's okay if they're not perfectly symmetrical. Below the abdomen, draw a short line to indicate the bottom edge of the hind wings. Pay attention to the distance between the abdomen and this line. Now draw two vertical lines from the line to the abdomen for the inner edge of the hind wings. Tilt the line so that they're farther apart at the bottom. Now draw two long curved lines on either side to complete the guides for the hind wings. The tops of the hind wings should connect to the lower corners of the forewings. Draw the curvature of these lines on either side roughly the same. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. On top of the oval, draw a small arc for the first part of the head. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Inside the oval, draw a wide curved line for the bottom edge of the head. Use short strokes as you draw these lines for a free texture. On the sides of the head, draw shorter curved lines for the eyes. Pay attention to the sizes of the eyes in relation to the head. On top of the head, draw a couple of short angled lines for the feelers called the palps. This shape should be similar to a capital letter M. Use jagged lines for a furry texture. On top of the head, draw two long diagonal lines for the antennae. Draw the lines so that each antenna has the same angle. Pay attention to the length of these lines in relation to the body. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Make the tip of each antenna slightly wider than the bottom. The combined shape of the antennae should be similar to a big letter V. Now darken the first oval to create the thorax. Darken the oval using a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Now darken the shape at the bottom to complete the abdomen. Make the bottom part of the abdomen slightly pointier than the initial guide. 
Inside the abdomen, draw a series of horizontal lines for segments. Break up the lines and use short strokes for a furry texture. Use the triangular shape on the top left side as a guide to draw the first forewing. Darken the shape of the guide but make the corners rounder. Use a wavy line as you darken the left edge of the forewing. The bottom of the forewing should be wider and rounder than the initial guide. Now draw the forewing on the right side the same way. Darken the initial guide but make the shape rounder. Use a wavy line as you darken the right edge. Make sure that the two forewings are similar to each other. Now use the shapes at the bottom as guides to draw the hind wings. Darken the initial guides but make the edges wavier. Make the two sides look similar to each other but remember that it's okay if they're not perfectly symmetrical. The tops of the hind wings should end along the lower edges of the forewings. Now add the pattern on the wings. Draw a squiggly line across the forewing on the left for the color separation. The line doesn't have to look exactly like this, just draw a wavy line across the forewing. On the right forewing, draw a similar line for the rest of the color separation. The two lines should be mirror images of each other. It's a good idea to use reference as you add the pattern for a more accurate depiction of a painted lady butterfly. You can also use the initial drawing as a template to draw a different species of butterfly. Now draw a series of circular shapes along the outer edges of the forewings for a few spots. Try to make the shapes on each forewing similar to each other. Now draw lines on the forewings for veins. Draw these lines close to the top edges of the forewings. Add a few more circular shapes below the veins for more spots. Whatever you draw on the left side, make sure to duplicate it on the right side too. Add a few more lines across the forewings for more veins. The veins at the bottom should have a diagonal orientation. Don't overlap the spots as you draw the veins. Now add the pattern on the hind wings too. Draw a series of circles along the lower edges for spots. Make the circles smaller the higher they are. Now add another row of circles slightly higher. Draw fewer circles on the top row. Inside each wing close to the body, draw a squiggly line for the color separation. These shapes should be white at the top and thin at the bottom. Now draw a series of lines inside each hind wing for veins. Tilt the lines more the higher up they are. Don't overlap the previous shapes as you draw the veins. Add a few more squiggly lines on the forewings for more of the color separation. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. 
Use a blend of gray, brown, and some yellow to color the body and the inner sections of the wings. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker shades. Use short strokes as you color the body for a furry texture. Gradually push down harder on the pencils to blend the colors together. Draw a striped pattern on the antennae using black. Now color the main sections of the wings using shades of yellow and orange. Blend colors like yellow, yellow-orange, orange, red-orange, and even brown. Don't overlap the spots as you add these bright colors. For a simpler drawing, you can use a single color on each section instead of blending multiple colors together. It's a good idea to use reference as you color for a more accurate depiction of a painted lady butterfly. Now color the edges of the wings black. Add a few more spots along the edges of the forewings as you add the black. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the butterfly. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also, subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.